In this video, I want to take a look at a generalized product rule. All right, let's say you had to um, find the derivative of a great big long expression like this that had four individual terms or products that were being all multiplied together. All right, it can be a long, daunting task, all right, but you can kind of generalize what you're doing, and this will go a lot quicker here. So some shortcut tricks here is we're going to take the derivative of each of the products, so we'll take the derivative of each one of them individually, we'll multiply it by all the other products that are remaining, and then we're going to add our resulting terms. All right, and usually if you kind of do this in an organized, logical little box, it's a lot quicker than trying to just go left to right across your piece of paper. Okay, so generally what I like to do is I like to uh, write down each term. Okay, so in my box, I'm going to have, let's just call it each term. Okay, so I'm going to have a column for each term. Okay, and then I'm going to have the derivative of that term. And then I'm going to have the remaining terms. And we're going to kind of keep this organized. All right, and it's going to kind of go kind of quick here. So I'm going to take each one of these individual terms and write them down here. So I'm going to have a 4x squared plus an x. All right, and then its derivative, all right, it's going to be an 8x plus a 1. And then the remaining terms, all right, would be all three of those. So an e to the x times sine of 3x times cosine of x squared. Okay, so there's my first one. All right, now I'm going to take my second one, which is going to be an e to the x. All right, I take the derivative of that. I'm going to have an e to the x. Now, all the remaining terms would be the 4x squared plus x and the sine 3x and the cosine x squared. All right, so there my second one is done. All right, now I'm going to do my third one. The third term there is a sine 3x. All right, taking the derivative there, I'm going to have 3 cosine of 3x. Now, remaining terms would be this one, this one, and this one. So I'll have a 4x squared plus the x times the e to the x times the cosine x squared. And then I've got one more I've got to do. So my last one there would be the cosine of x squared. Taking the derivative there would be a negative 2x sine x squared. All three remaining terms would be the 4x squared plus x times that e to the x times the sine of 3x. All right, so that didn't take us very long. We've got it all written out. Now, all right, add all the resulting terms. Okay, so well, multiply it by the products. So this times this is going to be one term. This times this will be another term. This times this will be another one. And this times this will be another term. And then all we have to do is put add signs in between all of them. Now when you multiply those, how you choose to multiply them um, really is going to be your way. But writing that derivative here then, um, f prime of x. And it's probably going to be so long I'm going to have to do multiple lines here. But this times this, all right, so 8x plus 1 times that e to the x sine 3x cosine x squared. All right plus this times this one. All right, and rearranging just a little bit there, putting that one maybe in front. So 4x squared plus an x times an e to the x times, I knew I was going to run out of room here, sine 3x times the cosine x squared. All right, now doing this one, this times this. Again, rewriting maybe a little bit. Let's keep the 3 out in front, and then maybe the 4x squared plus the x times the e to the x times the cosine of 3x times the cosine of x squared. Okay, and then this one times this one, and it is a negative here, so the last one will be minus, and then multiplying all this together again. Let's see if I multiplied here by the 2x and distributed that, then I could have an 8x to the third plus a 2x squared, and then times the e to the x times the sine 3x times the sine x squared. Okay, so great big long one, and then definitely I couldn't write it all on one line there. But much, much quicker, I think, than trying to do a 
traditional derivative where you're writing it all out left or right across the thing, but make that little chart. Take each one of those terms, take the derivative, write down all the remaining terms, and then your final derivative will be the product of each one of these added together. So um, hopefully just a little uh, generalized product rule concept shortcut that's going to get you to be able to do those really, really long derivatives um, rather quickly. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.